guys welcome back to my channel it's Marisa so today is just a basic update video and I just wanted to show you the dried results of this beautiful uh, Sakura uh, painting that I did and how I incorporated uh, in my last video I did make some pink um, gabachon because I just had extra of this pink uh, resin here and I did make some gabachons here honestly they are slightly cloudy in my view um, there is some air bubbles I don't know if you can really see that or not but I could definitely see them um, I believe it was probably the cold um, just the, the the weather the temperature it happens to uh, resin so let's get started here first so you know I said that I had no use for these and as soon as I said that I had this idea of doing a little 3d effect and making some literal little blossoms with the uh, pink gabachons that I made and it has a little bit of gold glitter in there and I just think that added just a really cool little touch to this painting uh, it dried absolutely beautifully and I just absolutely love it. Yeah, so there is the little gabachons and they came out really cute. Very nice. And there's the tiny, tiny ones too. So maybe that's what I'll use them for, you know. Um, I don't know if I would use them for anything else, but at least I had a use for them. All right, so let me show you. Now these... The dragon eyes came out much, much better this time, except for one of them. Um, I thought I had enough resin in there, and I'll show you. Let's go from worst to best. See that one? I thought it broke off. Sorry, my camera is not focused. There you go. See, it's supposed to be a little pointy there, and obviously there was not enough resin, but. It did come out other than that it came out pretty cool so that's the worst one um, but the rest of them came out pretty cool yeah these came out really nice I may make uh, magnets out of these I just have to get the actual magnet pieces um, yeah and if anyone I don't know uh, it, uh, really good glue to use if anyone has any suggest any suggestions I think it's called E600 or E800 or something like that. Let me know. Um, this one came out really cool. All the glitter just kind of lay. It just fell into those like crevices and um, like this, the design of the eye. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah, and this came out pretty clear. Um, not as clear as the last time. Again, I think it's just the weather. Um, it just happens. But this came out pretty clear. I kind of like that. And let's see. This one came out really great. The eye worked. And I really stuck the eye in there. So this one came out really cute. I love these. And yes, this is my son's favorite and mine too, honestly. Well, these two. The big guy in this one's my favorite. The gold glitter just wound up just being around it and just kind of perfectly kind of accenting the eye. So that came out really cool. Sorry, my camera keeps on going out of focus. All right, and this is the Big Daddy. This is gorgeous. I love this color. This neon pink um, mica pigment, pigment from uh, Primal Flow is really nice. And this time I actually used less pigment and it really came out so pretty. I don't know if you can see that. I just want to show you in the light how beautiful that is. So that came out really pretty. And then this little guy, um, you know, it was just an extra little thing. Like I said, I had some extra resin. That was no big deal. And then the gabachons, I'm going to use these for um, when I do one of my next... Um, uh, pour paintings. I'm going to be using these and dipping them in after I do the painting. So that's what I made those for. And now I can have as many eyes as I want because I have the those um, they're like little papers with all the eyes on it. Basically, just a piece. Of, it's not stickers. It's just papers. You just cut out the eyes and put them on the gabachon. Yeah. So let me know if you guys have any like clear. 
um, what you know, clear drying glue or something. I don't know if decoupage works or not. I don't know if it dry. I think that dries clear. So maybe that would work. Guys, let me know in the, in the uh, comments below what I could use to put like little the um, paper eyes on the back so I don't want to see glue up here. All right, so this is the liquid diamonds. It came today. This is a two to one ratio, see? Two to one ratio. This is the hardener. And this is actually, when I really thought about the price, it actually is a bit more expensive. Uh, the Unicone was $25, and that was with tax, I believe. Um, maybe not with tax, but, you know, free shipping, whatever. And um, <clears throat> it was a 16-ounce set. This is only a 12-ounce set, so there's 8 ounces of the resin, 4 ounces of the hardener, and it actually came out with tax. It came out to 27 and free shipping. So a little more expensive, and I'm hoping um, the quality is worth the price. I believe the set up is maybe a 16 ounce, I think, or maybe it's a 24 ounce. I don't remember. I believe that was, uh, maybe it's a 24 ounce kit. And I believe maybe that was 37, but you know, like I said in my other video, I like to start small when I'm using new products. I don't want to invest a ton of money. Um, and then if I really, really love it, then I will invest more money, you know? So that is that. Then here is my really, really cool um, new mold. Look at this, the, um, the twins. I just thought that was so cool. That actually reminds me of Markiplier in a creepy way. These are really cool for like pendants. And that's just a skull. There's a skull with a, a really cool like top hat, a crown, a skull and bones. This is like a poison apple. Um, this is definitely like one of those portraits. And this is just like the chest bones. Uh, I just thought this was like really, really creepy. And the way they advertise it was that they use like this white, it was either maybe alcohol ink or maybe some acrylic paint. It was like all white. And I thought that was really, really awesome. And it actually came with a hundred of these. So I could actually, when it's still pliable, um, I have to, it didn't come with any directions, and there is literally no directions. It did not come with anything, but I know how, thank God, I know how to use the resin. Um, but I'm going to say maybe seven to eight hours, it's still pliable, um, where you could touch it. Um, I'm going to have to, like, I guess make a small one and just test one and see when I could actually maybe attach one of these guys in it while it's still bendable. I was trying with this, but this already got too hard. Um, yeah. So if anyone has any tips on, like, using liquid diamonds and when is it a good time to maybe add a little uh, screw piece, please let me know in the comments below. All right, so I just wanted to show you one more thing today. I will be right back. I just want to give you a little sneak, sneak peek of what I am going to be working on with my Ode to Markiplier uh, video. All right, I will be right back, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> I am back so this is pretty much what I a little sneak peek okay of kind of what I have envisioned for my Ode to Markiplier project it's going to be maybe a two to three part maybe two part I'm not sure but I'm going to start off with a background painting which will be space inspired if you know anything about Markiplier like I said he loves space so I already have plans. I'm not going to give that away exactly what it is, but it will be like a galaxy, uh, space feeling uh, type of painting. And then, excuse the little silly cord, I am going to do another painting on here, which I'm, I think I said a little bit on another video, but I am not going to repeat it because I want it to be a surprise. 
it to be like kind of colors associated with him and his new channel called Unus Anus that he is doing with Ethan from Crank Gameplays and I'm so proud of him because he just hit a million subscribers not too long ago and he really deserves it. Amazing uh, guy and great channel, another gaming channel. Then I'm going to add this really cool I don't know if I'm going to pour over this or not yet. It does have a coating. I may just actually leave it white. Um, this is a W, but I'm using it as an M. But actually, a real, it's actually not, it's kind of weird that it actually worked because Markiplier has this character called Wilfred Wharfstash. Really silly character. And I had gotten this, which is, oh, this is also a W that I was going to use as an M to put over it to embellish it. But I'm actually thinking now that I may actually use it as a W for Markiplier and Wolford Wharfstash because my next little thingy I have literally has to do with the mustache for Wilford. And this is the type of mustache he has. And that is a really cool stencil. And it's pretty much going to go like that. So I actually think as I was setting this up, I actually thought that looked really, really cool. So I may do that. Because I was, like I said, going to just embellish the M. But this represents Wilford and Markiplier. Both his, well, himself and his character. So that's the basic ideas of um, my uh, project. And the rest, well, you will see the rest when I actually do it. Now I did have some uh, something else. Originally, I was gonna make the mustache with like the pipe cleaners, but uh, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it anymore. I really like the stencil. I think it's like perfect because it's the exact um, shape of mustache. It fits perfectly in uh on this um canvas right here i'm going to keep this wrapped i know this is filthy because i had a lot of uh, paint splashes but that will be fine because that will be uh, poured over and you will never see that so and if for some reason this painting doesn't come out right well i will get another one if, you know and that will be a problem i did use a couple for um quite a few for my um chakra paintings so yeah that's why i only have one left but if i need another one i will have to go and buy one and hopefully michael's has a sale all right guys so that is it for today this is just a short little video just a little update video and i'm just gonna give this guy one more look i, I just really love uh the way this came out i'm so happy that uh these didn't go away so they just would have sat around if i didn't think of this and if i didn't do this painting first so yeah, that worked out perfectly. So all right guys, so stay tuned for um, you know, my next video. I am working on um, information about Mark. I took a lot of screenshots. I'm probably gonna do a little kind of cut um, in between uh, setting up for my painting, actually doing the painting. I'm gonna be doing a little voiceover with some um, edited you know, photos that I have already uh, uh, did screenshots of so yeah this is you know a, you know a small little project but you know I want to do things right and just to show my appreciation to my favorite youtuber okie dokie so I will see you guys in the next one don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos uh, all my social media links are below in the description and uh, guys I will see you in the next one bye